everybody, my name is Savannah and today we got a brand new screenshot from the upcoming tropical pack coming to Planet Zoo on April 4th and that is this little guy that you're looking at right here, our brown throated sloth. So this of course is going to be our exhibit animal, our walkthrough exhibit animal and I'm very excited about it. Now it's not a bird and we were hoping for parrots but a sloth is great nonetheless. We'll just wait for birds next time. They're on their way. But we got the brown throated sloth. And this is really our first look at it because in the trailer, we only got a glimpse of the sloth sign that is coming with the pack. So this is our first actual glimpse of this guy. And he looks great. The amount of detail packed into an exhibit animal of this size is just phenomenal. Obviously Frontier does a great job at fur textures and patterns. I've talked about it before and it's evident in basically any of the newer animals that they've added to the game recently that they just do an amazing job. I love this little guy's face. I love that sloths just in general look like grumpy old men with a part down the middle of their hair. I think it's hilarious. Obviously this guy is going to be a walkthrough exhibit animal like I mentioned. So this photo was probably taken with the null walls of that walkthrough habitat. So you don't see him contained in anything, but whatever he's hanging on is probably going to be uh, one of the enrichment items that you can just toggle on or off in that walkthrough exhibit. I am wondering if there's going to be anything that's permanent to the walkthrough exhibit when you place a sloth inside of it. These guys really obviously are not known for walking around the ground a whole lot. They can and they do, but they are mostly arboreal. So they're going to be hanging from things, climbing on things for the majority of the time. And so I'm wondering if just like when you place in like the butterflies or the bat, there are a couple objects that are not optional that just appear when you place those animals in. So I'm imagining some sort of climbing structure or frame being similar to that for the sloth, but you still can hide the walls and integrate this into an indoor building or a custom built enclosure, whatever you want to do. Now, before we get into talking about sloths in general, and that is going to be a tongue twister saying sloths so many times, I have such a hard time going from the SL to the TH at the end of the word sloth. So do forgive me if I say it weird or slow. But looking at the background of this uh, picture, we see lots of those mossy covered stones that we saw in the original trailer little detailing trim down along the bottom of whatever wall that is. And then I really don't see too much that's new. We've kind of seen all these little pieces. Um, I'm imagining some of these structures that we're seeing will probably be prefabs or blueprints that are added with the tropical pack that the devs have made and that that way you can just place them right into your game. But hoping that the majority of what we're seeing is piece by piece and we could take it apart and use the itty bitty pieces to whatever we want. And then of course, everyone do it now, cross your fingers that they're all flexi colored because that would just be icing on top of the cake. But going over to talking about sloths just a little bit, they're actually fairly gross in uh, the wild and we'll get into why that is in just a minute. I've actually been lucky enough to meet, pet and feed a sloth before. Um, they feel very wiry. Their hair is very thick and stiff. They're by no means soft. I would never describe a sloth as being soft, but they're very cool animals and they do move very slowly. So it's really interesting uh, to watch them move around because they're just, they're such a different animal. But the sloth is the world's slowest mammal, so sedentary that algae grows on its furry coat. And that's why I say they're gross. And there's actually a special kind of fly. Sloths will come down trees to go to the bathroom. Flies live in their feces and then lay their eggs on their body or something similar to that. I remember learning about it a while ago. Uh, and then they use the algae to eat and it just grows and it feeds the algae with the feces. It, it's a whole ecosystem on a sloth's back. When you Google it, it'll explain it far better than I am doing right now. But 
Long story short, wild sloths are gross, <laughs> but the algae is what gives the greenish tint that is useful for the sloth as camouflage in the trees of its Central and South American rainforest home. Sloths are identified by the number of long, prominent claws that they have on each foot. There are both two-toed and three-toed sloths. Now, this is actually something that I was not aware of before I looked this up. I was referring to the three-toed sloth as a species by itself, but it sounds more like it's a uh, group, a classification of some of the species that belong to a certain family, and that the brown-throated sloth is actually a three-toed sloth. As evident in the pictures, you can see it's got three long claws on the ends of both of its hands. All sloths are built for life in the treetops. They spend nearly all of their time aloft hanging from branches with a powerful grip aided by their long claws. Dead sloths have been known to retain their grip and remain suspended from a branch even after death. That's amazing. That's very creepy, but very amazing. Sloths even sleep in the trees and they sleep a lot, sometimes 15 to 20 hours a day. That's the life right there. Can we, I just trade places right now, deal. I will sleep 15 to 20 hours a day. I would love that. Even when awake, they often remain motionless. At night, they eat leaves, shoots, and fruits from the trees and get almost all of their water from the juicy plants they eat. Sloths mate and give birth while hanging in the trees. Three-toed sloth babies are often seen clinging to their mothers. They travel by hanging on to them for the first nine months of their lives. Life on land. On land, sloths' weak hind legs provide no power and their long claws are a hindrance. They must dig into the earth with their front claws and use their strong front legs to pull themselves along, dragging their bodies across the ground. If caught on land, these animals have no chance to evade predators such as big cats and must try to defend themselves by clawing and biting. Though they couldn't be clumsier on land, sloths are surprisingly good swimmers. They sometimes fall directly from rainforest trees into rivers and stroke efficiently with their long arms. So that's very interesting. Considering that it's an exhibit animal, I highly doubt we will be getting a swimming animation since there's not any water in the walkthrough exhibit. Maybe they give it a little pond or a lake or something like that, but I really highly doubt it. Which is unfortunate because it would be really interesting to see the sloths swim in game, but I really don't think that's going to be a reality. And last little fun fact about sloths, or three-toed sloths specifically, is that they have an advantage that few other mammals possess. They have extra neck vertebrae that allow them to turn their heads about 270 degrees. That's actually the same range of motion that owls can rotate their heads. So that's pretty interesting that they can rotate their heads almost all the way around. So there you go, a little bit of information about our brown-throated sloth friend. Of course, if you have any information, any facts that I said weird or any additional ones that I forgot, please let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear your sloth facts. But for now, that's all I have for you. If you've made it this far, if you're enjoying the video, and if you're excited for the tropical pack, be sure to leave a like on the video. And while you're down there, double check that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on any future Planet Zoo content, as I will be covering everything coming with the tropical pack up to release, and then following release, builds, gameplay, stuff like that. If you want to follow me on all my other social medias, all those links are down in the description below, including our Discord and my Etsy shop if you are interested in supporting the channel a little bit more. But until next time, I will talk at you guys in the next video. Bye!